In this lesson, we are rounding to a given number of significant figures. In this first video, we are rounding numbers to one significant figure. In question A, we need to round 53 to one significant figure. Now, all it means to round to one significant figure is to round to the biggest place value column, effectively. So for this number, the biggest place value column you've got is the tens column. So in this case, we're just rounding to the nearest 10. From one of the earlier lessons, you should know how to do that. 53 to the nearest 10 is just 50. In question B, we need to round 98 to one significant figure. Now, again, the biggest place value column is the tens column, so we need to round this to the nearest 10. This is closest to 100, that's 10 tens. It's closer to 100 than to 90. So it rounds to a hundred. In question C, we are rounding to one significant figure again. And in this case, that means we're rounding to the nearest hundred because the hundreds column is our biggest place value column. So to the nearest hundred, that would be 300. Let's take a look at these now. 4,129. The biggest place value column there is the thousands column. So we want to round this to the nearest thousand. To the nearest thousand, this is 4,000. The next digit along there is only a one, so we round down. In question E, we've got 97,000. The biggest place value column here is the 10,000s column, so we're looking to round to the nearest 10,000. In this case, is it closer to 90,000 or 100,000, the next one up? It's actually closer to 100,000, and we round up because the next place value column along is a five or greater. In this case, it's a seven. In F, we are rounding to the nearest 10,000 again. Because the next digit along is less than a five, we're going to round this down. So this would be 10,000. In G, we are rounding to the nearest 10,000. That's the biggest place value column. And to decide whether we round up or down, we look to the next digit. That's an eight, so we round up. This number here is closer to 80,000 than to 70,000. So to one significant figure, it is 80,000. In H, we've now got a decimal. We've got 4.6. The biggest place value column is the units column. So we need to round this to the nearest unit or the nearest whole number. The nearest whole number in this case is 5. 4.6 would round up to 5 to the nearest whole number. In part i, we've got 0 0.3424. Now, the biggest place value column might appear to be the units column, but let's just be careful. We haven't got any units. It's just a zero. It's a placeholder. So effectively, the biggest place value column that we're actually using is the tenths column. So we want to round this to the nearest tenth, or to one decimal place. You should know how to do this. Look at the next one along. That's a four, so we're going to round down. To one significant figure, this is 0 0.3. In J, we've got to take care again. It looks like we've got a units column, but that's actually empty. We haven't got anything there. The same is true for the tenths column. We've got zero tenths. So our biggest place value column is actually this one, the hundredths column. So we need to round this to the nearest hundredth, or in other words, to two decimal places. And that becomes 0 0.07. The six gets rounded up to a seven because the next digit along is a five or greater. In K, we have the tens column as our biggest place value column. So we're going to round this to the nearest 10. And that is simply 10. In L, we have got the thousandths column as our biggest place value column. Remember, these are all empty. So we're going to round to the nearest thousandth or to three decimal places. That means the same thing. To three decimal places then, this is 0 0.005. The next digit along was only a four, so we round it down. In question M, 
we need to round 0.6 to one significant figure. The biggest place value column here is the tenths column. Remember, we haven't got any units, so they don't count. And then we need to round that to the nearest tenth. Well, we can't round it. It's already only got one decimal place. So this is simply 0.6 to one significant figure. In N, we've got the units as our biggest place value column. So we want to round this to the nearest whole number. 4.09 to the nearest whole number is just four. Let's take a look at this last example. We want to round 0.95 to one significant figure. I've taken a little bit of a liberty while going through the previous examples, as I will explain when I do this one. Now, as we've seen before, we've got no units. So our biggest place value column effectively is the tenths column. That means we would want to round this to the nearest tenth. Now, previously, I've said rounding to the nearest tenth is the same as rounding to one decimal place, which is true. But if we did round this to one decimal place, we would get an answer of 1.0. Now, we just need to be careful. If we are being asked to round to one significant figure, we need to make sure that we only give one significant figure. And this extra decimal place here is misleading. It makes it look like we've got an extra layer of accuracy. We look like we have two significant figures of accuracy if we were to round it like this. So when rounding this to one significant figure, we actually end up getting an answer of just one. So there's just a little opportunity to be tripped up that you need to be aware of.